I'm working on an engine and I'm trying to recreate the way Unreal does uh, code generation and hot reloading. So if you know Unreal, they have something called a header tool, which generates a bunch of code that makes using the engine a lot easier. So for example, there's this generated super macro, which if I hover over it, it will show copy pasted code because this code is actually defined in this generated file. And this is the code that it generates. The way it copy pastes code without actually editing the original header file is it defines a macro here with some specifier and the line number. This line number is just the line where the specifier was detected by the header tool. What this does, if I actually open it, this macro just adds the line number to whatever's in here. So this would be the header tool signature. For example, if I just move this to another line, so I just press enter, this should give me an error now because now it's generating something that would mean nothing to the compiler basically. What it expands to isn't a macro, it's not defined. But if I rebuild, this will run the header tool. And now that it's generated a new definition, a new macro, this should now work and yep, there it is. And if you look in the generated file, it just updated the line number. Of course, for all of this to work, you also have to include the generated file at the very top. So for example, this class uh, is an object because it inherits from object base. What the header tool does is it goes into this main section and just sets to call this register object function for that class. And of course it includes the class header at the top. This function is called by the engine when this module is loaded. So for example, this module is called game framework. And whenever this is loaded, it will call this initialized method. It registered our test object. The other thing I wanna show is uh, an automatic hot reload detection system, which is also very, very cool. So I'm just gonna launch the exe by itself. And here we have our registered test object, but what I'm gonna do now is go into the test object and I'm just gonna like add another class or something. I'm just gonna copy paste this, rename it. And now I'm gonna build the project. Let's see what the console shows. So as you can see, it detects a hot reload and then it reloads the module. So it unregisters the original object, it loads the module again. And because we have two objects now, they both get registered here. The way this works is inside the modules folder, this DLL is what gets copied over from the output directory and copied into this folder. The hot reload DLL is something the engine generates. So whenever you request to load the module, which are loaded from these dot module files, you just give like, these just have settings in them. When a module is loaded, it will first create a copy of this DLL and create this dot hot reload DLL file and load this instead. And then it just compares the dates between the original DLL and the hot reload DLL. And if it finds that the original is newer, it will reload the module and generate a new file and so on. So yeah, that's basically it. I really wanna go into detail in this and maybe show off some actual engine code as well, because I think this is pretty cool. Hopefully I'll get around to doing that, but yeah, that's it.